Yes, this is Matasa Rising Arena at 5 TV. Today we are going to talk about what is happening in the southern and the northern Nigeria. Uh, we heard a, a story of uh, Deborah Samuel who stoned to death at uh, Sokoto State. And what is happening? Do you understand? I have the video how it happened and people's opinion because there are a lot of people that have opinion on the issue. Some say it is okay, some say it is not okay. Do you understand? I have their, uh, uh, their own opinion, a video clip. That you, you watch once you are following me. I also have a video of uh, how it happened at uh, Abuja Day Day Market, FCT Abuja Day Day Market. How it happened and the video clip. Do you understand? Just follow me, you will enjoy it. Thank you. Remain blessed. Remember, this is Matters Arising on Arena 5 TV. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do well and subscribe. Click, like, share, and comment. And invite your friends. Do you understand? You can also share it to your social media timelines so that wherever we are, we bring aboard Matters Arising. In case you have anything that is happening around you and you want to bring it on board, you can do well and write to me. We bring it on Matters Arising. Remember, we are growing. We have been growing all this while. Before, before we are not up to this, but today at least our number is growing. Thank you very much. This is a connectivity hub. Stay tuned. What is the Nobody is doing anything. Nobody is doing anything. Everywhere is on fire. Ajalema, all the ports. That's the area that you both are staying. They are going to all the ports. That's where we build houses. They are going to Tamaj. Our children are at home. We are stuck. We are stuck. We are stuck. We are stuck. Nobody is helping us. We are stuck. We are stuck. Where is Nigeria government? Where is the soldiers? Where is the soldiers? We are stuck. Where is the government of this Sokoto state? We are stuck. We are stuck. We are stuck. Everybody is burning. We are stuck. We are stuck. Where is everybody? How can we die of nothing? How can we die of nothing? Where is the government of Sokoto state? <laughs> We didn't do anything, we are just Nigeria, we didn't do anything. We didn't do anything, we are just Nigeria. Nobody chose to be born a Christian. Nobody chose to be born a Christian. <laughs> Christianity is the religion of our parents. We didn't choose to be born a Christian. We didn't choose to be born a Christian. Where is the government of... These are our shops. These are people's goods that are born in. Some of us are stuck. We can't even go home. We can't even go home. We can't even go home. They're going to us at home. Our kids are at home. We can't even go home. We are stuck. Everywhere is locked up. We are stuck. We are stuck. We didn't send the border to do anything. We respect each other. We are responsible Nigerians. Why are we going to suffer for the sin of some single person? Islam prescribes death for somebody who commits blasphemy against Holy Prophet of Islam, Muhammad, peace be upon him. Is that true? Let's see. No, it's not true. Islam condemns blasphemy. But there is not a single verse in the Holy Quran that teaches Muslims to punish someone just because he insulted the Prophet of Islam, Muhammad The Quran teaches us that all Prophets were mocked at. It says, and there came not to them a messenger, but they mocked at him. The Quran mentions that the Holy Prophet Muhammad, may peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, was insulted, but it does not say, punish those people. Rather, Allah said to him, and overlook their annoying talk, and put your trust in Allah. The Muslims are taught in the Holy Quran that if they hear people, mocking the signs of God, then they should leave their company and not sit with them until they change the topic. The Quran does not teach to punish them. If we look at the life of the Holy Prophet of Islam, Muhammad, may peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, we see that he forgave his worst enemies, even those who had hurt him and insulted him. The Quran mentions the incident of Abdullah bin Ubay, a man who said that he is the Most High and the Holy Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is the most wretched. This was such a great insult that the son of Abdullah came to the Holy Prophet Muhammad, may peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, and asked permission to kill his father because he felt so insulted at what he had said. The Prophet 
Muhammad وسلم, did not allow it. And Abdullah lived his life in peace until he passed away in the city of Medina. In fact, the Holy Prophet Muhammad, may peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, led his funeral prayer. This was how the Prophet himself treated those who insulted him. Okay, so if Islam does not allow any Muslims to punish anyone who commits blasphemy against Islam or the Prophet of Islam, why is it that so many Muslims believe that blasphemy is punishable by death? Because some so-called Muslim scholars exploit the issue of blasphemy. Thank you very much for watching. That was the story of Deborah. How it happened. The way it happened according to the story. That she made a comment on their uh, uh, Cosmet uh, WhatsApp platform. That, that, that was the the how the story started before know it she was stoned to death do you understand so let me bring to you the one that happened at uh, day day market stay glue and enjoy it thank you very much you've been blessed at us arising on if five tv my name is revenue cinema kamadi let's go there <laughs> Hi. Wow, Look at that. Okay, you're welcome. Having watched all the video we have at hand, please do well to write to us in case if you have anything to give us. As in what I'm saying, giving us is uh, this matter that is arising around your area. If you want us to bring it on board, we we'll bring it on board. Do you understand? You can give us video clip to make to show that it happened real. Thank you very much and remain blessed. My name remains Remedio Sinemekamadi. Till next episode or next matter that will arise. <laughs>